probably one of the best mazes tonight because um, all it was is that it felt like it was outside and it looked almost like exactly like Hearts of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. Dominion of the Land was pretty fun. Um, it was kind of like Willoughby's Mansion. Um, very similar to Willoughby's Mansion at Magic Mountain. And after you come out of that, you have to go into Tooth Fairy. Uh, it's kind of odd. You wait for one maze and you get to go in two. Tooth Fairy was not very scary. Well, none of them here have been scary. But um, that one was not very scary. It was just kind of gro more gross than scary. Special Ops Infected was probably the best maze tonight. What it is is you get basically laser guns and you shoot zombies and you get points. Um, it is really fun. You actually will have to run to um, survive um, the, the zombie apocalypse. You do run all through Camp Snoopy. Uh, it is really fun. Rec I recommend getting the reservation first before you do anything at the park. Forevermore was really good. Um, it was a really long maze and had um, lots of theming. It was really good. Recommend going on that one. Black Magic was pretty fun. It um, wasn't very scary once again. Uh, the special effects were pretty good, but it was okay. It wasn't the best. and strong was pretty fun um, it it was actually scarier than some of the other ones um, theming was okay wasn't wasn't the theming wasn't the best on that one it was very similar to us to six flags mazes um, but it was it was scarier than some of the other ones Gunslinger's Grave was pretty disappointing. The theming was pretty good. Um, it was okay, though. The actual, it wasn't scary at all.